Hello, this is a tutorial on how to do a um, transaction with the call wallet feature. Um, so I have two phones. I have uh, one uh, phone that I will keep offline. So I'm not sure it's easy to see, but I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi. And now we have uh, no Wi-Fi. So this is going to be the call wallet. And um, I have a second phone that is going to be the warm wallet. So this is the uh, normal wire wallet installation. And they are both running the same version. So they are both running version uh, 150. First thing I need to do is to set up the account. Uh, so to do that, I will reset these apps by clearing the entire storage data. So I can I should only do that if I know that I have no data that I want to preserve. Because this is really this is gonna wipe out everything, all your accounts. It's pretty fast though. You go to the storage option in the app and then you say clear data. Okay, that resets everything. I'm doing that on both phones. Okay, so now they are both to their starting state. So let's open the the uh, open the online wallet. No, sorry, I should open the offline wallet because I want to create the account in the uh, offline storage to make sure that the secret key is never going to the internet. So let's do that. Uh, start Y wallet the offline uh, the uh, offline version. I go through the uh, new account. And uh, and then I select the Zcash account. I leave it as a brand new account, so I don't do a restore. And uh, here's the account. So it says disconnected, as expected, since we don't have internet connection. What I can do though is um, look at the get the the viewing key. Then go to backup. I see my seed phrase here. And I want to see the viewing key, so I toggle show sub keys. And it shows me a bunch of um, derived keys. The one I want is um, uh, I'm going to use the Archer transaction, so I want the unified viewing key. Tap here, and that shows me a QR code. So now I go on the um, online wallet, I create a new account. Uh, that is just gonna be a bogus account. Oh no, I can I can restore an account here. So let's restore an account and scan the um the viewing key. So scan that and then I press plus. So let me call it my well, main as well. Uh, ask me if I want to rescan. Uh, no, I don't need to rescan. So let's uh, close that. And we are back to the front page. I'm just going to check now that both addresses are identical. Okay, it's not the same address because the key was restored from... The UA is not the same because the key was restored from... The can was restored from viewing key. So it does not have the transparent component. Whereas the, um, the one that has the seed phrase has a transparent sapling and orchard. So let's, let's just check on the uh, Orchard one. Tap a few times to go take to the Orchard subkey, the Orchard uh, receiver, and do the same for the other one. All right, so we are now we can see that the, the Orchard uh, UA is the same. All right, that means that we're okay. I'm gonna pretend I've blown the backup just to not have this reminder anymore, okay? And um, copying this address to request some funds from uh, Zig Fawcett. Zig Fawcett. So go to Zig Fawcett and I enter my my address. I am human and I can send some funds. I can receive some funds. All right. So it says now that I should receive half a millisec in a few minutes. Okay, let's let's wait. So I'll go back to my account and 
I'll go back to the UA. No, this, is, this is the UA. I'm just gonna wait a bit. All right, so I'm gonna come back once I have received the funds. Now I can see my balance. I can see the half millisec in my uh, balance. And um, I should have received enough confirmations. So I can check that by going to the notes. Oh no, only two confirmations. That's not enough. Help me lower lower the threshold uh, so that I can spend this these funds. Oh, I need to lower to one. Privacy, minimum confirmation. I will set it to one for this test. That should be okay. It's spendable now because the um the number is in a uh, is in normal font. All right. So let me return these funds to the faucet. For this, I need the address. Which is this, um, this one. And all I need to do is to do a normal transaction towards that address. Even though I don't have the, um, the secret key on the online form, I'm still going to do a normal transaction as if I had it. No, so this is an address. Let me paste the address. Uh, I'm going to use the um, all the pools, but only Orchard has some funds and um, maximum. Okay, without full precision, the rounding will make this invalid. So I have to go and say that I want eight, eight decimals and then back here and forward. So it's clearly half a millisec. Uh, and the fee is going to de be detected from that amount. So next now, I can input um, a memo. So we say uh, thank you, and then and then prepare. So at this point, the transaction is prepared, but it will not be able to be submitted because I don't have the key here. So instead, what I'm going to do is press the um, the snowflake button in order to get an uh, unsigned transaction. So I press on that guy and it shows me um, I have two options. I can scan the QR code from the offline phone or I can save it as a file and transfer it to my offline phone. Either way it's going to be the same. So I'm going to do the, um, the file transfer for this uh, tutorial. So you press on this on the save button and it offers you to share the file the transaction raw file which i'm going to do but first i need to insert the key so i need to insert the usb key into the form okay sounds good and now i'm going to save to total commander Oh, okay. For this device, it's a bit strange. I have to turn on OTG in the, in the settings. System OTG storage. All right, so it appears here. Let's go back to um, the phone, the app. Sorry, was here. And choose disk to open. Uh, save it in in. Uh, documents and now I have this transaction row file. Oh, well, let's pick up a transaction row file. What didn't work? Oh there you go. I see the transaction like before. So I can verify that it's indeed the right transaction. So I can check for example the um the recipient address and um the fee. So that looks all okay for me to me. And now I can sign it. I press the button to sign. So this signing the transaction will make um, a binary transaction that can be broadcast to the network. At no point the transaction included your secret key. Therefore, the secret key has is never going to leave the offline device. All right, so now we can I can either uh, save the file and um, open it in the online phone like before. Or I can scan this, this QR code. So since uh, we already done the full the file, I'm gonna do the other way now. I'm gonna scan this QR code 
with the uh, with the online form. All right. So you can see that the the QR code changes because um, transaction is pretty big, so it doesn't fit in a single QR code. But that's pretty transparent for the user. You just need to know that you have to scan until the um, the phones I say is completed. All right, so now I'll go to um, same thing, but on the online form, I choose cold storage, but this time on broadcast, click on broadcast, and um, it's gonna ask me to scan the, the, the signed transaction. I scan the signed transaction code, scan transaction code. So we'll do this, and then I wait. You have to be patient. That's why usually I prefer to do it with you with um, with a USB key. It's actually much faster. How you have to hold this stuff for a good a good minute minute. Okay, one thing I can I could improve is to give some vis visual feedback that you're actually scanning the QR code. And that something is happening because like this I'm not even sure that it's doing anything okay all right so it has been done and uh, finally we have the transmission and we have the transaction ID so now, now that we have transaction ID we can do like before uh, we can check in the open in the Explorer so this transaction is not it's not mine yet, but it's on the network since blockchain knows about it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is wait for confirmation that it's um, uh, is okay, and uh, if it's okay, the uh, the balance should go to zero. Uh, let's check the history. We have uh, one incoming transaction, thickfaucet.com. Now we're going to wait for the outgoing transaction. And on the offline phone, what I just need to do is close the app. And so just close the app and turn off the OTG storage. Uh, and then I can disconnect. I can disconnect the USB. All right, let's wait for the confirmation. Okay, our transaction has um, has been mined. You can see that um, it's there, and uh, uh, we have the transaction details, the message, thank you, send from Y Wallet, pre confirmations. Okay, and now we have should have no balance. Yeah, we have no balance. So this concludes this tutorial. In summary, we created a new account on the uh, offline the phone. We imported the viewing key on the online phone. We acquired some funds and we used the cold wallet functionality to send these funds back to the uh, to the source.